electric currents and its effects. Introduction The weather is too hot. We need to switch on the fan. We get air only on switching the fan on. But what is it that makes the fan move? Why does not the fan run without its switch being on? The reason is that once we switch on an electric appliance, electricity starts flowing through the wires. This is what we call an electric current. Electric current is the flow of energy which we call electrical energy. Electric components and their symbols. You may come across with different symbols. However, we should be using the symbols shown here. In the symbol for electric cell, note that there is a longer line and a shorter but thick parallel line. You must know that an electric cell has a positive terminal and a negative terminal. In the symbol of the electric cell, the longer line represents positive terminal and the shorter line represents negative terminal. Some commonly used electric components with their symbols are switch, open, cell, battery, bulb. In a simple circuit, we cannot draw the actual components. Drawing all the components with their pictures is a time-consuming job. So, electrical components and devices are represented by symbols in a circuit diagram. The three basic requirements of an electric circuit A source of electricity, this may be a cell or a battery. A conducting path which is provided by the wires. Insulation makes the wires shock-free as the current flows in copper only. An electrical resistance which may be a bulb or any electrical appliance which can use up the electrical energy. Components of an electric circuit The cell or battery A cell is the source of electric circuit. It has a positive terminal and a negative terminal. For most applications, we need more than one cell. So, we connect two or more cells together. The positive terminal of the first cell is connected to the negative terminal of the second cell and so on. Such a combination of two or more cells is known as battery. The switch. If you disconnect one of the wires from the cell, the bulb does not glow. This is because the path of the current is now obstructed. The circuit is now broken and is said to be open. You use a switch, also called a key, to put on or off a light or a fan. When the switch is in the on position, current flows in the circuit and the circuit is said to be closed. Connecting wires which are generally insulated copper wires, insulation makes the wires shock-free as the current flows in copper only. An electric appliance that uses the current. Heating effect of current. When electric current flows through the wires of an electric circuit, the wire gets heated up. This is because some of the electric energy gets transferred into heat energy. This effect is called the heating effect of current. When current flows through an electric wire, the wire tries to resist the current flow through it. This is called resistance. Different metals offer different resistance to the path of flow of electricity. Greater the resistance, greater will be the heat generated. Thus, if an appliance offers greater resistance, it gets heated up quickly. Copper wires offer very less resistance, thus do not get heated up quickly. This is because they are used as conductive wire. Nichrome and tungsten offer high resistance to the flow of electric current and get heated up. Besides the material, the amount of heat generated in the wire also depends on the length and thickness of the wire. The heating effect of electric current is used in a large number of domestic and industrial appliances like geyser, toaster, electric iron, hair dryer, electric kettle, etc. While the filament of an electric bulb is made of tungsten, coil, electric appliances like iron kettle, geyser, toaster, etc. are made of nichrome. Tungsten and nichrome have the ability to withstand very high temperature without melting. Tungsten does not allow the current to pass through it. Longer and thinner wires produce more heating than shorter and thicker wires. This is the reason 
why the filament wire of a bulb is made very thin and is given a helical shape to increase its length. The heat produced in a bulb is not desirable and is a waste of electric energy. There is no such wastage in tube lights and compact fluorescent lamp CFL. To show that electric current produces heating effect, connect a torch bulb with a cell and a switch with a connecting wire. Switch on the bulb for 2 minutes and turn it off. Touch the glass body of the bulb carefully. You will find that the bulb has become hot. Let the circuit be switched off for 10 to 15 minutes so that the bulb cools down to normal temperature. Switch on the circuit again and let the bulb light for 5 minutes. Switch it off and again touch the glass body. You will find that the bulb has become much hotter than the last time. Working of an electric fuse An electric fuse makes use of the heating effect of current. It is a safety device which prevents the appliances from getting damaged due to passage of very high current. A fuse contains two pins through which a wire passes. This wire is made of an alloy with low melting point. In case of flow of an excess current, the wire melts thereby breaking the circuit. This stops the flow of current and the appliances are saved from any kind of damage. Thus, a fuse wire prevents damage due to sudden heavy currents which may arise due to some defect in the house wiring or in the appliances. These days, a device called Miniature Circuit Breaker MCB, is also used instead of or in addition to fuses in the households. It is a switch that automatically stops the current in a circuit if the current in it exceeds the specified maximum limit. Lighting Effect of Current When electric current flows through the filament of a bulb, it gets heated up and starts glowing, thereby emitting light. This effect is called the lighting effect of current. Magnetic Effect of Current This deflection of the needle on passage of electric current is termed as the magnetic effect of current. To show that electric circuit produces magnetic effect, place a magnetic compass needle over the wire in an electric circuit. Now, switch on and observe the needle. Initially, the needle was pointing in the north-south direction, but on passage of electric current, it shows deflection. We repeat the same activity by switching on and off alternatively. It is observed that in on condition, the needle shows deflection, but in off condition, it points in north-south direction. This shows that electric current produces a magnetic effect which deflects the needle. A magnetic needle can be deflected only by a magnetic field. Thus, it is obvious that the passage of electric current produces a magnetic field. It can be concluded that a current-carrying wire behaves as a magnet. However, it is not a strong magnet. It is just strong enough to attract small pins or iron nails. Hans Christian Oersted was the first person who noticed the deflection of a compass needle every time the current was passed through the wire. Solenoid A solenoid is a cylindrical coil of wire. When a current flows through a solenoid, it behaves as a magnet. This magnet is a bar magnet by nature with the two ends of the cylinder behaving as the two poles. To show that a current carrying solenoid behaves as a magnet, take a cylindrical object like the reel of thread and wind an insulated copper wire around it. Connect the ends of the wire to the switch and a battery to complete the circuit. On bringing a compass needle near the solenoid when the switch is off, the needle shows no deflection. When we switch on, the current starts flowing and the needle shows deflection. This confirms that a current-carrying solenoid behaves as a magnet. Electromagnet A length of a wire wound closely together is called a coil. An electromagnet is a coil of insulated wire wound around a piece of magnetic substance such as soft iron. It behaves as a magnet only as long as electric current passes through it. The magnetic substance around which the coil is wound is called the core. Some properties of an electromagnet are 
The strength of an electromagnet depends on the number of turns of the wire and the amount of current passing through it. An electromagnet is not a permanent magnet. It behaves as a magnet only as long as the current passes through it. Uses of electromagnet We can make electromagnets according to our use unlike natural magnets. Cranes with strong electromagnets are used to lift up large iron objects. When they have to be placed somewhere, the switch is put off. Electric doorbells, buzzers and telegraph sounders use electromagnet as a thin iron strip. It makes sound as it strikes against an electromagnet. They are used in motors that drive fans, mixers, washing machines, etc. They are also used in generators. Doctors use very small electromagnetic devices to take out very small magnetic materials from eyes, ears and nose. Chemical Effect of Electric Current When electric current is passed through some solution such as copper sulphate or silver nitrate, a chemical reaction takes place and the solution breaks up into their constituent elements in the ionic form. This disassociation of solution into the constituent element is called electrolysis. This effect is called chemical effect of electric current. One of the main application of this effect is electroplating. The process of depositing a thin layer of metal with the help of electric current is called electroplating. Electroplating forms a protective barrier and also enhances appearance as in case of jewellery and silverware.